Welcome everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Simple, Cheap and Easy DIYs. Make sure you watch my last episode after you watch this episode. I'm going to start off by taking the St. Patrick's Day sign that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to flip it over and then start removing the backing which is the ribbon that holds it together and I'm going to sand any pieces that are not smooth. You can um, sand off the glitter if you'd like but I'm just going to use the back. One of the clovers I'm going to paint in the Waverly chalk paint in white, one in this mossy green, one in antique parchment, and then the last one in territorial beige. Once I have those fully painted and dried, this is what they will look like. And then I'm going to take the letters, uh, wood letters from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint L and C in the mossy green and U and K in the chalk paint in the white. Taking some jute twine, I'm just going to wrap that around the bottom of each of the clovers and I'm going to do that on all four of the clovers. This is what it'll look like once you have the jute twine applied to all the stems. Next, taking the wood letters, I'm just going to glue opposite colors to um, each of the clovers as you can see me doing here. Now taking more of my jute twine, I'm just going to glue around each of the clovers and glue the jute twine around the clovers as well. And I'm going to repeat that on all four clovers. And this is what it will look like once you have them all complete. And then for the next step, I'm gonna be taking the tumbling tower blocks. Now these came in this brown color, uh, but if you have the regular wood colors, you can paint them brown. And I'm just gonna glue one of the clover to each of the tumbling tower blocks. And here's today's completed project. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Till next time, have a nice day.